please start with the color side up. Um, I've got the same color on both sides, sorry for this. First we're going to fold the paper into eighth in both directions. So once we've done that, turn the paper around, so this will be your white side, and fold it diagonally. Once you've done that, you bring all these points these four corners to the center of the paper. And each of these folds you unfold again. It's just pre-creasing. And next what you're going to do is bring that same point up until if you see this paper. There's one small square, there's another small square at that point, at the end point of the second square, that's where you bring your paper up. And you do that on all four sides. And then what you do is, on these corners, you've got like two squares. That's where you're going to fold down. So you're basically, here you've still got one square. Here you've still got one square left. Okay. And you do that on all four sides. And then, believe it or not, we'll be done with our pre-creasing. So, um, this is the white side up. And basically, I want a mountain fold here. And you're going to do a preliminary fold. So, oh, I'm, so, uh, I'm sorry. I want a mountain fold, like, on one of these halves. And then you have a valley fold and basically fold another valley fold through the other central crease, making a uh, what do you call that? I don't know, a uh, water bomb base, I think is what you call it. So you've got this four flaps. Okay. Um, next, what we're going to do is here we've got a big square and there's a diagonal. We're going to have mountain folds here and there's a valley fold and here there's a mountain fold. Right, and when you push that and on the sides. and a fold inside. Just a second. See, this is where the, um, the mountain folds stop. That's where you fold inside, like so. And you do that on the other side too. You'd have that. And then um, 
no squash filling at the top. So you've got something like this. See these flappy things. Okay. So if you've got white paper on one side, um, this is going to be white, and this is going to be white. All the rest is colored. And then here you've got a small triangle. Fold that up, and you fold the sides in. Okay. So well, what you've got now is just like this part. And you do the same thing on the other side. And then this is what you have. This is going to be all colored throughout. Right, if you've got this I want you to fold one layer and a second layer over and on the other side one layer and two layers over. Okay? And then again as before you're kind of going to have mountain folds along here, a valley fold here, and here you've got a mountain fold too. So you bring the paper up like that. And then um, what you do is you kind of squash fold this in the top and on the bottom bit kind of into you've got this you've got a valley fold here and then you bring these sides inside. So you get that. Right, so you bring this inside. And you've got a point here. Got two points down there. This is what you've got. The bottom is open and the top is closed. Okay? Right. Next, what we're going to do is, this is the bottom bit, the open bit. We're going to um, fold this paper over and while doing so, we've got a mountain fold here. You bring that mountain fold up. So, this is kind of what you get. Right, this point to the side. That's the mountain fold. And now you want to do something like a closed sink. So, basically, when you open this, see there's a point there, it's kind of sticking out. You just push that so it shows into the other direction. Okay, and then here on the side, just pull this paper out. Just pull it out, and then inside, you kind of want to get a triangle shape. Oh, uh, not a triangle, I'm sorry, a diamond shape here. And on this side, too. And to get this diamond shape, you basically bring this out and this inside. Straight from this out on the top. Right, so you've got this flap hanging up, 